Managing quality requires that you objectively measure customer needs. As the saying goes, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. But what do you do when measures don't exist? You need to cultivate your own, as Howland explains. An ideal quality measurement provides an agreed basis for making decisions. In the frozen food industry, a major crop is peas. For many years, the food processors bought the peas from the farmers by weight, with the proviso that the peas be tender. Of course, the weight could be measured accurately enough, but as to the tenderness, there were endless debates about this seemingly subjective issue. There turned out to be a major complication. During the ripening period of several days, peas double their weight, which is great news for the farmers. But the peas lose their tenderness as they get bigger and heavier, which is bad news for the processors. The solution was to invent a new sensor and new units of measurement. And so, the tenderometer was born as a mutually agreeable way to measure tenderness. Thereafter, peas were purchased by weight, but on a sliding scale of price, based on tenderometer readings. So, if you're hankering to find an objective way to measure quality, where measures don't seem to exist, grow your own. I'm Howlin' Blackiston of Turan Institute. <laughs>